Lesson 32, we are going to be subtracting a mixed number from a mixed number. And just like we added a mixed number and a mixed number, we had two steps. Well, we have the same two steps. We just use subtraction instead of addition. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to subtract the holes and then you're going to subtract the fraction. And when you subtract the fraction, you're going to use the same skill that you learned in lesson 31. So if you were kind of iffy on that, make sure you go back and rewatch that before you watch this lesson, okay? So let's look at our fraction. And we see that the large number represent the whole amount here. And the smaller numbers are the fractions, okay? So I'm going to subtract the whole first as per my directions. So 3 minus 1 is 2, okay? So I have 2 and 1 third because 3 minus 1 is 2 and 1 third minus 2 thirds. Now looking at these fractions, I'm going to see that I'm, I need to regroup, okay? Because 2 thirds is bigger than 1 third. So I'm going to split my two-thirds into one-third and one-third. One-third minus one-third. I now need to take one more third away from this two. So remember, take away a whole. Convert your other whole to a fraction that's equal to a whole with an equivalent or the same denominator. And then I have one as my whole number and three-thirds minus one-third is two-thirds, all right? Let's try another one. My next problem for you is four and one-fifth minus two and four-fifths. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the wholes. What is 4 minus 2? 4 minus 2 is 2. And then I'm going to bring down this 1 fifth minus 4 fifths. Okay? So what this really looks like is it's like me taking 4 and 1 fifth if I were to take away 2 and not even think about that 4 fifths. Because what I'm doing is I'm really breaking the whole in the fraction, right? And so I know that if I did four minus one fifth, I would get two and one fifth. You see it, it's right here. And then I still need to take away four more fifths. All right, I'll leave that there for your reference. So then after we do that, we subtract the fraction. So looking at these fractions here, I know I'm going to have to regroup because four fifths is bigger than one fifth. So I'm going to decompose Here's my one-fifth, here's my one-fifth. How many more fifths to get to four-fifths? Three-fifths. Get rid of it, okay? Now I need to regroup. So this two becomes a one and five-fifths. My whole is one. Five-fifths minus three-fifths is two-fifths. All right? Let's try another one. This is five and three sevenths minus three and six sevenths. So I'm going to subtract the whole first. I'm going to subtract this whole first. So from five and three sevenths, I'm going to take away three, that is the whole, okay? And I know that five minus three is two, and I still have this three sevenths, all right? So I'm done with that whole check. 2 and 3 sevenths. Now I need to subtract this fraction minus 6 sevenths. Looking at these fractions, I know I'm going to have to regroup because 6 sevenths is more than 3 sevenths, so I'm going to have to take more sevenths from the whole. All right, so let's first decompose. 6 sevenths is equal to 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. 3 sevenths minus 3 sevenths. I have 3 more sevenths to take away. This two becomes a one and seven sevenths. This is my whole after regrouping. And seven sevenths minus three sevenths is four 
sevenths. All right, so the final answer is one and four sevenths. Okay, let's do one more before it's your turn. And remember, use your practice as a model so that you know what to do when you are doing your own problems to turn in for homework. Let's do five and three fifths minus four and four fifths. All right, so first I'm going to subtract the wholes. So I have five and three fifths minus four because that's the whole that I'm taking away. Five minus four is one and three fifths, all right? So I subtracted the whole, now I need to subtract the fraction. So I have one and three fifths left after I subtracted the five and three, four from five and three fifths, all right? I'm going to take away four more, and I'm going to have to regroup because this four fifths is more than my three fifths. This part that I'm trying to take away is bigger than the pieces I have broken up, okay? So, four fifths is equal to three fifths and one fifth. Three fifths minus three fifths, so that goes away. My one is just going to be broken up into five fifths because I don't have any other holes to break up, okay? So I'll just have five fifths. Five fifths minus one fifth is four fifths. So my final answer here is four fifths. Now it is your turn. Here are three problems that I would like for you to solve and bring in. I have eight and three tenths minus two and seven tenths. I have eight and three twelfths minus three and eight twelfths. And finally, I have one and one hundredth minus two and ninety-seven hundredths. All right, go ahead and work on those and we'll see you tomorrow.